Please welcome Molly Bernard. Molly. Molly. Hi, Molly. Hi, I'm freaking out. How are you doing? I am so good. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> this um, is like a weird dream, though, right? We're, we're sitting here. Drew's getting a tattoo. Molly's here. I know. This is so fun. I mean, Molly, we were so excited to do the news with you because, you know, your show, like, really shows the power of friendship. And I know that you've become so close with Hillary Duff over the years. And the thing that other than my daughters has meant the most to me in my life is my friendship. Same. Tell me about your relationship with Hillary and your history and your future. You know, I had just graduated from the Yale School of Drama when I got on this show. I had, I had no idea what I was doing and I was so stressed out and wanted to make sure everything was perfect. Um, and one day on set, she was like, just chill, you're funny. And like, we love you, just be a little, be a little less stressed out because it's kind of stressful. And that kind of realness, <laughs> is, advice, she, right? it's really good advice. Yeah. And I carry it on every set I go to, I carry it into my work. And that she, we just kind of became fast friends because she saw through my BS mm. and she was like, you don't need it actually. You're, you'll be lighter without it. And that carries through into our friendship. I mean, she's the best friend I have. Would you mind doing a couple news stories with us? I can't wait to do news stories. Okay, good. Drew, just checking in on Drew. How are you feeling over there? I just got reminded not to move. Okay, understood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, Molly, our first story is about someone near and dear to your heart. May, Hillary Duff's one month old baby. Yeah, look at this. Yahoo Life reports that Hillary brought May to beat Mandy Moore's newborn, Gus, and they had a blast. And I know that you and Hillary, of course, you're, you're besties from younger. And But there's an interesting story. You went to go help with baby May and ended up staying for what? Like a month. A month you went <laughs> to month. go help. What is that like? You just, she just needed your help and you were there? Actually, um, I what we weren't sure when she was going to be born. May, not Hillary, we knew that. Yeah. Um, and I, so I planned to go out to LA for vaguely a month and to see when the baby came. And I, I mean, this is her third, so I really wanted to be an extra set of hands. Yeah. And I'm her other daughter's godmother. So I was just, I mean, I got to do bath time and bedtime and then wake up time <laughs> is the best. They're so tender in the mornings when they wake up, come on. How did it feel to hold that little tiny baby? She is edible. And she was so, 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 so cuddly too. She loved to be held. And Banks, Banks was like that too. Really? Hillary makes really cuddly people. Oh. And I, I feel like I'm so lucky. I'm like a parent in training. She's taught me and my partner, Hannah, how to be, she's such a good mother. Uh -huh. May that. I ask, um, because I was so scared with Olive, yeah. and then I was a bit calmer with Frankie. What is Hillary like with her second and third? Is she different? <laughs> is she, you know, what's she like as a mom? Um, I hope she doesn't get mad at me for saying this, but she, um, <laughs> you know how parents buy the one month old, two month old, like the, the, the blankets that you put the baby on and take pictures of? Uh -huh. She didn't have one for May. And so she got one for the day after May turned a month old. And she was like, it's a third kid thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just at that point, you're like, <laughs> right? I'd love for you to read the next story, Molly, because I think that I really want to hear from you and Ross what you guys think of this. All right, here we go. Okay. Next up, I'm planning my wedding oh. right now. Yes. And Ross, I know you are too. Yes, we're both in, recently engaged. Recently queer engaged. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank dog herself. <laughs> so I want to take on this new wedding trend. Okay. All right. It is the who, what, where reports second looks are becoming a thing for bridesmaids. And this basically <laughs> means that your bridesmaids will wear the matchy matchy look to the ceremony, but then at the reception, they can change into whatever they want. Yes. What do we think? I love this idea because weddings are so formal and I hate the idea of people coming together and being uncomfortable all day long. Like sure, show up in heels, but then when it's time for the reception, can we all just agree to be an elastic? Is that all right? Yes. 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 Absolutely no buttons. No buttons. I just please. unzipped the zipper from my skirt because <laughs> Ryan told me she wanted me relaxed. I was Girl. like, then I need to unzip. <laughs> Before we go, Molly, I would love for you to tell us about your new film, Milk Water. Um, I think the storyline is beautiful, significant, and I'm really excited that it's becoming more of a common, acceptable, beautiful conversation out in the world, will you please tell us about it? I would love to. Um, I made this film, it's the first film that I'm leading, which is really exciting. Um, and it's about how difficult it is to start queer families. 
Uh, I play a really lost millennial who befriends an older gay man at a drag bar. And um, I can't relate. You, I'm, I'm sorry. sure you can't relate. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't know anything about this. So she befriends this drag queen and offers to be his surrogate, kind of the night that she meets him. Wow. And um, it explores boundaries and boundarylessness and just how um, vulnerable it is to rely on a surrogate for starting mm -hmm. your family. And my, you know, my partner and I are about to go on the the marriage journey and the. The kids' journey, and it's it's hard when you're two women or two men, and or when you're as this film depicts a single gay man. Surrogacy, I think, is a very important conversation. Yeah. Do you guys want to have kids? We do. Oh. We do. Ah. We're so. I mean. Honestly, I think Hannah and I were like cosplaying at Hillary's house. I'd be like, you run the bath, I'll go take her, I'll get her, you know, I'll get some of the clothes <laughs> off, make sure the bubbles are in, make sure it's not too hot. And Hannah would be like, got it, you look hot. And I was like, yes, we like had so much fun. <laughs> well, thank you, Molly. Um, I am so honored that you came to the desk today. It was so nice to talk about family, mm -hmm. friendship, surrogacy, you know, life, yeah. really. What a- The real stuff. What a menu. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, Milk Water is on demand on May 21st.